Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. tonight after her family was violently attacked by a mob right outside a CTA station. Elizabeth Matthews is live now with details. Elizabeth? Guys, I gotta tell you, it's been a pretty eventful afternoon here outside the 95th Red Line station. We'll talk about that attack in just a moment, but first, another attack that I get to report on. That only happened about an hour ago. We were standing here getting ready for our live shot when a woman came up with a bloodied nose. She said that she was only trying to cross the street. She just gotten off the train. She was trying to cross the street when three people, two uh, young people, both males and a female, approached her, tried to steal her crossbody purse off of her, punched her in the nose. The girl punched her in the nose. Again, we saw it, blood all over her shirt. She was bleeding. And they pepper sprayed her, just trying to get a purse. So here we are trying to report on a mob attack from last night. And it happens once again. Take a look at this video. We shot it about an hour ago, 45 minutes ago, about five minutes after this afternoon's attack happened. Police were here. Several squad cars were here starting to investigate. That woman this afternoon was still bleeding for obvious reasons. She was too shocked to talk to us on camera. But another victim wanted to talk to us this afternoon as a warning for others. Laura and her daughter, Kenya, who now has a fractured nose, got caught in the middle of a group of teens around 5.30 last night, also here at the 95th Red Line Station. They'd gone downtown to sign up for the last semester of college, saw the group of young people on the train, both heading downtown and coming back home. They got off the train, walked up to the street level, ran into an 18-year-old, a relative of theirs, a young man. That's when the crowd of 10 to 15 started beating up the teenager. The two women tried to intervene, no serious injuries, but one phone was stolen. Kenya says at the time, no one tried to help them. A college student and I get assaulted for going downtown to go be a college student. Like that's ridiculous. And then all you want to say is, oh, are you okay? And, and then when we asked the CTA worker, why didn't you get involved? Because there was a lot of people around. It was a lot of CTA workers around. It was, it was a lot of other people riding the same train, the same buses as us. Everybody tried, nobody, nobody did anything. And then when we asked them, they said, well, I work here and I'm in fear of my life because they always come and nothing is being done. So it even gets a tad bit crazier, if you can imagine, when Laura and Kenya met us this afternoon to do an interview, they actually walked over to the Red Line station uh, to show where it had happened. They saw the same group of teenagers that attacked them last night, again this afternoon. They had not been arrested. They had not been banned from the CTA. They were not kicked off. They were still there. Chicago police say they are still investigating. Reporting live, Lisa Matthews, Fox 32, Chicago. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.